Well, hello everyone. It's so good to be back here. We've really, really missed uh, the opportunity to uh, be together as a church, Oasis Church. เราขอบคุณพระเจ้าที่มีโอกาสได้พบกันนะครับที่โอเอซิสเอ่อแห่งนี้นะครับในการมัสการในวันนี้แต่ว่าขอบคุณพระเจ้าแล้วก็ขอ
When there's a need, we see ourselves as a vessel of what God's heart is for the nation. No matter what, no matter what happens, we look to the Lord. He gives us what we need. And he tells, helps us to take help and and to those who are needy, hurting, and are in need of healing. I want you to stand by after this message today. Because we're going to pray for everyone. Pray that God brings healing. And encouragement. To those that are, cannot go outside. And need healing in Jesus name. <coughs> So today I want to share with you a scripture I love very much. Uh, it's in James chapter 1, uh, verse 17 and 18. <coughs> James chapter 1, verse 17 and 18. <coughs> Even though everything is changing, <coughs> Thank God, the word of God never changes. <coughs> says every good and perfect gift that comes gift is from above. <coughs> and comes down from the Father of Lights. Uh, <coughs> with whom there is no variation of shadow or turning. Of his own will, he brought us forth by the word of truth that we might be a kind of first fruit of all the rest of recreation. When we think about the Lord, we have to think about the the good things that come down from above. We have to know that he has, has, is giving us everything we need in this day. Many times it will happen that we will not be able to receive something we need. And it seems like that no matter what we do, we cannot seem to get everything that we need in this day. We know that many people need food. Many people are, are not well and need, need healing. Many people are out of work. Somebody's businesses, so many businesses are not doing well of making no money. I keep hearing many things from the city of Patia. And many people relied upon daily wages. Daily wages cannot rely on this anymore. Even families who could not afford to pay their rent anymore and are out on the street. In this day, as many as, as we can see, we need a savior. It seems like everywhere you look, Lord, we... These people need a savior. Because of the changes that are going on and the unusual things, we have to look to God to help us. Even in the church, we have people with great needs. But we have to remember that we have a real enemy. 
He wants to destroy your life. We have to understand that we cannot be silent. We just can't agree to let the enemy just go and do anything. We have to resist the devil. Resist all the evil things. And it says in the Bible that if we do, he will flee. And we also have to fight with the word of God. I want to remind you of that. This is so important. We need to understand that the word of God will defeat all the lie from the enemy. This is not just a Thailand problem. It's all over the world. And the enemy seems to be able to just do anything he wants to do. But really, it's not true. It may look that way. But no. Because God has his people, his church is ready to go. There's a great mobilization building right now. People from every church. God is preparing and making strong. And getting ready to go out and serve the needs of all the nations. So we have to understand that God is hearing you from heaven. Remember that Isaiah the prophet in chapter 65 verse 24 reminds us of a very important thing about God. And the word of God says this, and it shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer, and while they are yet speaking, I will hear. Now remember these two things. Even though God is writing, writing these, even now Isaiah is, is speaking these words to Israel. You need to know that God is speaking this to all the children of the earth. All the people of the earth. Some people say, Randy, can God hear people who do not believe in him. The truth is, yes, God hears the people that even do not believe in him. Isaiah the prophet said this day would come. Many of us think about prayer. Many more are praying every day. But I bet you don't know this one thing about prayer. Prayer begins with God. God initiates the prayer in you. This is one thing that people don't understand about prayer. And it stops them from praying. Because they think in their own mind they have to think about what to pray. Some people never think about prayer. 
Even when things are very bad. Not until things get hopeless and completely hopeless. And they say, I can do nothing else but pray. I tried everything now. I guess all I can do is just pray. Have you heard that before? Have, have you thought about that? Because with God, that's the place he wants you to be. Not at the end. But at the beginning. Not at, not at the end of your problem when there's no more hope. But immediately when the problem comes and he has the prayer already in mind for you when you begin to pray when you begin to say the first words God himself is already knowing what you're saying. Because God looks on the heart. He's communicating with you through your spirit, through your heart. He knows what's there. Even though you cannot put it into words, the Lord is hearing your prayers. That's why I tell people, even if they don't believe in Jesus, even if they don't know who God is, I tell you, when you cry out, to a, to a higher power. <laughs> it's God himself who's putting that in your heart. And that is why we have to continually remember that the very first thing to do is to pray, not the last thing. In James chapter 1, verse 2, James reminds us of this. He says, my brethren, counted all joy when you fall into various trials and temptations. How can you even believe that today? <laughs> Is not the world going under one of the biggest trials in this century? Are not the people of the nations having trouble in every nation around the world? And James tells you and I to count it all joy. Why? Because if we do, we will understand that the Lord is giving us strength through our difficulties. Through all the things that are happening. So we have to look at what God has done for those who love him and call upon his name. Number one, he's given you a new life. A new, you're a new creation in Christ Jesus. You're no longer just a citizen of the earth. You're a citizen of heaven. And your life is in the Lord's hands. Not just part of your life. Your whole life. 
ดของท่านเองชีวิตของท่านทั้งหมดอยู่ในพระหัตถ์ทรงฤทธิ์ของพระเจ้าพระเยซูคริสต์นั้นทรงสิ้นพระชนเพื่อยกโทษความผิดบาปของเราทั้งสิ้นความอาธรรมของเราทั้งสิ้น All the things, all the mistakes, everything we've done. It's already been paid. You've been forgiven. You can start new every day. If you have received Jesus as Lord and Savior, you are, you are already living eternal life. Right Right now, and the Lord, and the Lord Himself is the one who has determined how long you will stay here on this earth. And when, and when you will join your brothers and sisters who have gone on before you. Brothers and sisters, it's just a little while. It's a short amount of time. This life is such a short amount of time. Compared to eternity, a little amount of time. It's not everything. <laughs> it's something, but, it, but it's not everything. The important thing to remember. Now, are as those people on the earth who have not heard or understood or know who Jesus Christ is, that He is the Son of God that came to save them. That they would not be lost. That they will be saved. When you look at people hungry and lining up for food everywhere, they need a savior. And and God's hand is not too short to reach them. We have a God who hears our prayers. And who answers us even before we call the words out to Him. He says, "I will hear you, and while they are speaking, I will hear." And God Himself is already putting the prayers inside of our people now. See, our relationship with Him, with the Lord, is is so close that He anticipates and He provides every need. ในความสัมพันธ์ของเรานั้นกับพระเจ้าถ้าเรามีความสัมพันธ์ที่ใกล้ชิดนั้นเราจะรู้นักพระทัยของพระเจ้าและเราเองนั้นจะเป็นคนที่มีความคาดหวัง Our life is caught up in Him และเรารู้ว่าชีวิตของเรานั้นซ่อนอยู่ในพระองค์ We're supposed to be so close to Him every day เราควรจะมีชีวิตที่ติดสินกับพระเจ้าทุกวัน It's just because this is how the Father takes care of His family เพราะว่าเราตระหนักว่าพระองค์ทรงเป็นเหมือนพระบิดาที่ทรงปลดดูแล You don't have to do something to get his attention. I have heard many people pray that God, hear my prayer tonight, O Lord, or Lord, are you listening to me? You never have to pray that way. Before you speak, before you even think something in your mind, the Lord has already heard it. He already has the answer. He already knows what you need. Not just as a group, but individually. Not just as a group, but individually. 
So just this last week, something very, very interesting happened. You know, during this current lockdown, we could go out and at least walk around the parks, and we were walking along the river. The weather was beautiful. <coughs> and we could walk along and see the river and all the beauty. And my wife pointed out to me across the river and she said, Randy, do you see that yellow church over there, that building? Do you know do you know which church that is? She says that's the church some years ago that we prayed there at that church. She said that church is called the Samre Church. And suddenly I realized that we have come to pray, but God has done something else. <laughs> and I remember, yes, that we had a we had a wonderful time of prayer organized by Ajahn Dick and Ajahn Yai, and they they organized us to go to all the old churches of Bangkok. Some of them more than a hundred years old. <laughs> and to give thanks for the Lord to the Lord for his faithfulness to Thailand. <laughs> And during that prayer time, we went to Sapan Luang, we went to Maitrete Church, we went to two or three other old churches in that area. And the last place we went to was the church across the river, the Samrai Church. The first church. <laughs> it was it was uh, built in nine. It was uh, started in nine, 1849. 1849. <laughs> And the Lord said that I want you to see that I am going to be faithful to Thailand on this day. I've been faithful to Thailand all these years. But I want to remind you of this day. And my wife and I prayed and thanked God. Then, then my wife remembered another thing. Ajahn Yai said, I want us to know if, we, if there's time, it would be good for us to go and visit the gravesite of Dr. Bradley. But we all looked at our time and time was running out and we never were able to go and look at the grave site of Dr. Bradley. Dr. Bradley came in 1835. Part of the first Protestant missionaries to come to Thailand. 
Uh, the interesting thing was is that he was a medical doctor. So my wife and I went over and the grave site was not far from where we were walking and we went there and we found it. And written there in the stone is written the day that Dr. Bradley arrived. It talked about all the different things that he did. He created a, a smallpox vaccine and he made a printing press. He did many things. ในที่คําจารึกวันวันสุสานของหมอบัลเลย์เนี่ยได้บันทึกถึงสิ่งที่ท่านได้มีโอกาสได้วันที่ท่านได้มีโอกาสได้มาที่ประเทศไทยก็
That's why what James was trying to say, we can rejoice in the trials. The trials bring strength. The shaking brings strength. Even though things are not usual, we're being stretched. <laughs> Our faith is being stretched. <laughs> we are being tested. We are being saying, it's, it's all about what God is doing with His people now. Some people believe that it's not God because how could it be that God could be uh, giving us these difficult trials right now. God never said there would never be any trials. <laughs> Jesus said there's going to be trials. <laughs> <laughs> and, and difficult times. But if you think that it's only to make you weaker, you are wrong. The trials are to make you stronger. The trials are to help you to grow in your faith. The trials are to get your heart to be at the same heart of Jesus. The trials have a purpose. Don't run from the trials. Face the trials. <laughs> Yield to the Lord. <laughs> Let your heart be towards the Lord. <laughs> and don't fear the trials. <laughs> Even as difficult as they can be. <laughs> God's timing is perfect. God is not too early and he is never, never late. In the end, the church will be stronger. In the end, the church will be more, more, more mobile and more powerful than ever. First Peter chapter four. First Peter chapter four, verse twelve and thirteen. It says, "Beloved, uh, do not think it strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you." as though some strange thing has happened to you, but rejoice to the extent that you partake in Christ's suffering, that when his glory is revealed, you may also be glad with exceeding joy. God is not asking us to translate or interpret the times that we're in right now. The wisdom of man is not good enough to try to understand everything. <laughs> God's wisdom and His word are true. There is nothing strange that is happening to you. You can give thanks to the Lord. You can give thanks to the Lord for the day. There's a pandemic in the whole earth. 
Things are shaking everywhere. But we can give thanks to the Lord. Because he is strengthening us. For what is coming ahead. Let's quickly read Psalms 46 verse 1 and 2. Psalms 46 verses 1 and 2. It says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in time of trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, even though the earth be removed and the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God. God is in the midst of her and she shall not be moved. I tell you, God created the heavens and the earth. He created you and me. He knows every day. <laughs> he knows every person. <laughs> he knows the time that we're in right now. <laughs> we have to be glad that he is a, he is a help to us even in our time of trouble. เราต้องตระหนักว่าพระเจ้านั้นเอ่อทรงเป็นความช่วยเหลือเป็นที่กำบังและเป็นความช่วยเหลือที่พร้อมอยู่ในยามยากลำบาก says he's an ever present help in time of trouble it means he is helpful right now not later you don't have to pray and wait for his help to come it is always with you. It is, it is now. It is for now. Even when he sent the disciples out and gave the great commission, he said, I will be with you even to the end of the age. So no matter what you're going through, Jesus is with you now. He's right with you now. It says that that Jesus has is ne is a present present with us even to the last day of the earth. To the end of the age. What do we do? It says in 2 Corinthians for chapter 1, verse 3 through 5. Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort. And it also says that with what, what he comforts us with and through this tribulation that we may be able to comfort them, in other words, others, which are in trouble. He says that you comfort them with the same comfort that I've given to you. For the sufferings of Christ abound in us, so our consolation all also abideth by Christ. Brothers and sisters, we have to understand that everywhere there is need in this nation and many nations of the earth. I had a very vivid vision 
ของนิมิตที่เห็นอย่างชัดเจน very real โอเป็นภาพนิมิตที่เห็นอย่างอย่างชัดเจนแล้วก็แท้จริง I saw a woman just standing on the side on the street by the side of the road ผมเห็นเป็นภาพในภาพนิมิตเป็นภาพของผู้หญิงนะครับที่ยืนอยู่ข้างถนน and she was walking around like this looking up และเธอกำลังเดินไปแล้วก็มองไปตามที่ต่างๆที่เธอเดินไป and the words I could hear และนั่นคือแล้วมีถ้อยคำที่ผมได้ยิน if there is a god ผู้หญิงคนนี้ร้องบอกว่าถ้ามีพระเจ้าจริง if there is a god who can help มีถ้ามีพระเจ้าที่สามารถช่วยฉันได้จริง I want to know who you are ฉันอยากจะรู้ว่าพระองค์เป็นผู้ใด because I need your help และฉันต้องการพระองค์ต้องการความช่วยเหลือจากพระองค์ I tell you it really affected me นี่คือนิมิตที่ชัดเจนที่ที่มีผลต่อชีวิตของผมอย่างมาก It made made me think that a time is coming in the earth where there's going to be many people that are going to be looking for a savior อันผมเชื่อเหลือกันว่าในสถานการณ์เช่นนี้นั้นจะมีหลายคนที่ร้องเรียกเหมือนผู้หญิงคนนี้ที่เดินออกไปนั้นแล้วร้องว่าพระเจ้าทรงโปรดมีจริงนั้นขอทรงโปรดช่วยลูกด้วย Today there are many looking for a savior ก็มีหลายคนที่รอคอยพระผู้ช่วยให้รอดอยู่ And we must not think that God is quiet. He's calling the church out. Brothers and sisters, we are scattered in our homes across Thailand now. We're not meeting in churches at much now. Can you see that God has already mobilized the church? The only thing remaining is that we need to come together and pray together. แต่ว่าสิ่งหนึ่งที่สำคัญก็คือเราต้องมาร่วมใจกันในการอธิษฐาน Even if it was five minutes a day แม้ว่าจะเป็นเวลาแค่5นาทีต่อวัน Where everyone could tune in at the same time แต่คุณนั้นสามารถที่จะนัดเวลากับเพื่อนแล้วก็ใช้เวลานี้ในการอธิษฐานร่วมกัน And pray together for Thailand อธิษฐานเปิดประเทศไทย I know there's been many prayers for Thailand นี่ผมรู้ว่ามันมีคำอธิษฐานอีกมากมายที่ที่ยังจำเป็น And in many different ways มีคำอธิษฐานที่ But today, the Lord is going to bring us together. That's the mission of the Lord. To put our hearts together. So that we can show His love to the nation. So I want to ask that wherever you are right now, I want you to I want you to receive a healing prayer. We're going to pray. We're going to pray for protection from the virus. Join us now. As we pray for protection for our families, for our friends, and for all the nation. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, bring your healing down from heaven, Lord. Even right now in the hospital, Lord, touch everyone that is on a ventilator in Jesus' name. May their oxygen level go straight up. May they not need the ventilator after now. May, the, may all the virus be gone from their body and their blood. Father, may you restore their bodies to 100%. And Father, now in the name of Jesus, we pray for a great protection to come over everyone in Thailand. A protection north, south, east, and west. That suddenly the virus would just drop. Be gone in Jesus' name. 
The numbers would come down immediately and be gone from Thailand in Jesus' name. Restore healing to this nation. We pray all of this in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.